MIT Number one engineering college in the world where every undergraduate student makes not just $80,000 or $90,000 or $100,000 but a whopping $115,000 US dollars as a starting salary highest in the world Yar ye 115,000 kitna hota hai Yar ye dollar kitna hai aajkal ab 82 ka ab 94 lakh rupees yes 94 lakh rupees and that's just the average package a lot of students even make more MIT it's very famous for its high quality education research and numerous inventions if you think such a highly reputed institute will not be affordable you are wrong on the contrary it is quite affordable despite being the private institution in this video i will exactly talk about how you can study free of cost at mit at undergraduate level masters level or phd level so let's begin MIT is highly regarded college in the world. No wonder its students get the highest package in the world also. I don't think it needs any further introduction. Every engineering student on this planet knows MIT. But what students do not know is its very generous financial aid to domestic students as well as international students. MIT does not differentiate students based on their country of citizenship when it comes to providing the financial aid to students. It's among seven universities in US that offers need blind scholarship to all the students. Means the scholarships are need based and only need based. And it does not distinguish between domestic students or international students. All students are treated equally. Now, if you have to pay tuition out of your pocket, it could easily cost you sixty thousand dollars per year. But with the financial aid, it could be totally free. It could be zero tuition fees. Students with family income below one hundred and forty thousand US dollar per annum do not pay any tuition fee at MIT. MIT takes care of all. One hundred and forty thousand US dollars. How much is one hundred and forty thousand US dollars? Let's see. One crore fourteen lakh eighty thousand rupees. Yeah, that's true. If your family is making annually one crore fifteen lakh rupees in India or anywhere in the world, your education, your tuition fee could be waived. It could be totally free. That's how generous the financial aid, MIT's financial aid is. Now, in the process, you basically have to know two things: when and how. Now, when is easy. Early action deadline is November 30. Regular action deadline is February 15. So, as long as you apply the financial aid before these two deadlines, you should be okay. Now, how is the point where you have to pay attention to? International students are considered for aid using the same process as we use for all applicants. We are committed to meeting 100% demonstrated financial need for international students. just as we are for the domestic students it's a two step process step number 1 complete the css profile step number 2 upload the tax documents from your parents into college board's idoc platform and if you are not familiar with those don't worry i will be making a separate video on css profile application process for undergraduate admission at mit is different MIT does not take students through a common app or coalition app or through any other common platform. They have their own application portal. Right now it's closed but it will open up in August for the next year's fall admission. All you have to do is create an account and start filling up the online form and there is a $75 application fees. However, that can be waived for that domestic student as well as international students. There are abundance of opportunities for students to fund their studies 
at MIT at graduate level. If any student who is studying in MIT does not have a financial support, it's not because that he did not find one. It's most likely be the student does not want to work. MIT is the one college on the planet where if the student have just little bit of desire and he puts a just little bit of effort, he can find financial support very easily. There are many different types of financial aid available to graduate students. Obviously, the most common one is research assistantship. You wouldn't believe how much research oriented the university is. There is a reason that this is the number one university in the world. That being said, there are no short of research assistantship positions. Every single department, every single professor at MIT is involved in research. The second most common financial aid type is, yes, you're right, teaching assistantships. Many graduate students work as teaching assistant and get full tuition fee waiver, monthly stipend, and discounted health insurance, same as research assistantship. The next one is the fellowships. There are many fellowships that MIT students are eligible to apply for. This whole page talks about different type of fellowships students can apply for. I leave the link in the description. I haven't seen any institute providing so many fellowships. This is simply mind-blowing. Furthermore, there are department-specific fellowships provided by the private companies or the private organizations. I mean, take a look at this page. Amazon's robotic fellowship dedicated to robotic fields only. Amazon Alexa Fellowship, again super dedicated to a particular field of research. I mean, look at this, NASA Space Technology Research Fellowship. These all fellowships are MIT administered fellowships. And wait a second, there are known MIT administered fellowships as well that students can apply to. The next type of financial aid will blow your mind. There is an interesting concept at MIT called social investing where companies invest in the education of bright students in exchange for a share in their future income for a fixed period of time. Essentially, there are companies very much in existence that are willing to pay for your tuition fees. In exchange, you have to pledge a portion of your salary to them for a certain number of years after completion of the program at MIT. <sighs> that can only happen at MIT. I cannot imagine this thing happening in any other engineering college where companies essentially pay your tuition fees in advance. Wow. I'm planning to personally review 20 SOP of the students who are planning to apply for the fall 2024 graduate admissions. I'll give my personal feedback to each and every selected SOP. And this is totally free. Anyone from the world can submit SOP. Now, how to submit the SOP, when to submit the SOP, how the candidates will be selected, that I will reveal in my future video. So till then, keep watching.